Hello and welcome back to Al Nahudi Central and in this video we're going to be looking at these. So yes the Acura scale uh, buffer stops are finally here. Uh, I've had these on pre-order since around March time and there's been slight delays uh, with them coming from China because I think Acura scale were experiencing problems with uh, the construction of the actual uh, buffer stop and quite rightly so they delayed it so that they could get it perfect and I've had one out and they are spot on. So this is the first time I've ordered anything from Mercura Scale. Ordered direct from their website. Comes with cardboard packaging and plastic casing to securely protect your buffer stop. Now there's four different types of buffer stops. There's the Rowey friction buffer stop with an LED coupler. Uh, which is this one here, so you can see there is a LED uh, light with it. There are the uh, friction buffer stops with the coupler pocket, so it's the same style as this one. However, this one doesn't have the LED uh, light with it. There's also a, uh, a standard Rowey buffer stop, which I haven't got. Uh, and there's also the Rowey uh, buffer stop uh, standard in the Irish Railways. First we'll have a look at the back. You get a description of the contents. So obviously there's a buffer stop, well eight sets of friction shoes and the friction shoe spacer tool. So let's take a look at what we get inside. Well you get this spacer tool. Now in here there are 16 friction shoes. Now these are tiny and my tip is to get your, your block of ice that came with the packaging and tip them into here. I've already dropped one and it took me an eternity to find. On one side you can see the lugs. Now they go onto the outside of the track uh, and the ones without the lugs go onto the inside. And the purpose of these is in case uh, the momentum of a train coming up towards the buffer is such an extent that the buffer can Go backwards so ideally you do need a length of track uh, behind the actual buffer stop to replicate these but i have seen it even on real rail railways where the length of track behind the buffer stop isn't that great these simply get placed onto the track in the recess uh, some are quite loose some are quite tight fitting so it'd be up to you whether or not you want to glue them in place in order to stop them from moving off the track Again, these are made of a plastic material. They're very clean at the moment, whereas in real life, uh, both these and the buffer stops would be all grimy. So that'll be one thing I will be doing is to make this less pristine and more grimy and dirty. Hopefully you can make out on the, on the camera here the exact way the buffer stops themselves pick up the track power. So you've got two wires coming in the left hand side, one wire coming on the right, obviously the positive and negative. They then all go up the up the, uh, the stanchion which then powers the LEDs on the other side. They feed to the bottom and between these clamps here there are two very small springs. Now when they make contact with the track itself when you clip it in, that's how the LEDs pick up their actual white, uh, their actual power. It seems to be a very strong construction. So I've got my test track out. Uh, I can uh, change this from DCC and DC, and these buffer stops work on both DC and DCC power. So we've connected up the DCC. We'll see how this goes in actually attaching it to the track. Now the first time I did this I was very careful and very delicate with it because I didn't want to snap it or anything like that but you do have to use some uh, pressure on the back because there are two small lugs here and there which actually f go onto the inside of the track uh, to stop it from moving uh, and as obviously you need to get the track in between those two recesses in order to make the contact with the, with the power. The way I've figured out to do it is you squeeze at the back to 
to make sure all, both lugs are in. From the front, make sure the recesses line up with the track and they should click into place and the light comes straight on. Now, with the DCC, this uh, is permanently on because obviously you get, you get it. Now with the DCC, this is permanently on because you're getting permanent power from the track up to the lights. Whereas the DC uh, analog controller, only, the light only comes on when you have power on. Uh, for some reason, it only comes on in one direction. Now, I don't know why that is, uh, but if you're a DC user, I would certainly check out with uh, Curascale as to why that might be the case. Or if somebody out there knows what the answer is, maybe you can put it in the comments down below. So in terms of the shoes and the spacer itself, there aren't any of these actual buffer stops around where I live, so it's quite difficult to find out what the prototypical arrangement is for these shoes after the after the buffer stop. If you have a look at the schematics on the Curascale uh, buffer website, it goes along the lines of the pitch on the back of the uh, box. However, looking at some pictures online, there are somewhere, it's just three or four directly after the actual uh, buffer stop itself. So I think you can actually change what kind of setup you want. Don't necessarily have to have the spacer involved to space out all your shoes, just in case you haven't got that much length of track behind the actual buffer stop. Now on the camera, these lights are showing as if they're incredibly bright. However, in real life, uh, they're not so bright. Uh, let's see if we can see with the lights turned down. That's one light off. That's two lights off. And the last one, if I can reach. So it gives a lovely glow uh, for any kind of nighttime running shots. Uh, and it, there's enough light there for any local drivers to see where the buffer stops are. Uh, and indeed yourselves if you are controlling your trains. Now the other set I've got are exactly the same as these, however they haven't got the LED light, but they are in construction exactly the same. I have to say I'm very impressed with what Acura scale have achieved here. And for any modern day image modeler, these are an absolute must. And for the price, I think they're very competitive. So thanks for watching Alan Hoody Central. If you're a modern day image modeler, these buffer stops are a must. You've got to get them. They're reasonably priced, they are well built, and they are a perfect addition to your model railway. If you like what you uh, are watching, remember please do like, comment and subscribe and ring that bell for any kind of notifications if you want. And I'll hope to see you soon, hopefully with an update. See you soon, take care, bye now.